show. Hey, Andy and Jamie, what's going on today? Hey, Scott, thank you, buddy. Sorry, I was over here talking to Brad. Hi, Jamie, how are you? Andy, what's happening? Certainly an interesting day in the market. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. And uh, you, you're a little bit warmer this week? <laughs> Oh yeah, we you know okay. we're rocking a balmy 45 today. It feels like yeah. uh, paradise compared to zero. Yeah. I was mentioning the other day in uh, Steve's webinar that uh, we were actually two days ago. It was like 80 degrees warmer than what it was, and I'm, I'm talking about the high of the day for both yeah. days. It was like 80 degrees warmer. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, hopefully we won't see that. Oh, it's kind of fun of watching all the snow, but uh, anyway, it's that guys. damn global warming, Andy. It's, yeah, it's I guess so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody. Hi, Mike C. Uh, hello. Uh, I cannot hear you. Might want to type to him. I think the audio is okay. Looks like so. Uh, uh, Jaden probably needs to log off and back on. But thanks everyone. This is the Trading Studio. My name is Andy. Uh, that is Jamie and Scott. And I uh, just want to thank you for joining us today. We're going to dive in. I got some uh, an interesting uh, top list that I created that that'll make. I think uh, you guys will find interesting. It's not as sexy as some of these high flyers, but it could, you know, it create some profit. So we're going to take a look at that. So you're always, you always have to be able to adapt to change, and uh, uh, and we could be seeing it here in the marketplace uh, for a little while anyway. I don't know, but anyway, let's dive o dive in and take care of the disclaimer first. We are a content publisher, all right? Uh, nothing that you see today or here should be construed as investment advice, okay? We're just, uh, uh, this is for educational purposes only, so just keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, we're not trying to sell you anything, so uh, let's move on away from that slide. I think you guys get it. Uh, the agenda for today, uh, market cap. As always, I'll have some interesting things, and I'm sure Jamie will too. Uh, Holly recap. Uh, not bad day for Holly. And uh, and then my uh, we're going to talk about value plays. And like I said, that's, <laughs> there's nothing sexy about value plays, but, you know, it seems to be working lately. And uh, a lot of the momentum plays have kind of uh, lost their uh, – uh, their spunk, you know, if you will, and uh, a lot of these value plays have been have been seeing some inflows. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna create a little uh, window to help us to track some of these. I'll share it with you. We'll talk about it and also share it with you. Uh, and of course, the price alert game. Boy, a lot of people got beat up today, and it was just like uh, very similar to last week. And and I I mentioned uh, uh, that. Guys, just keep an eye on this. If it comes harder and harder for people to pick these winners, which we're seeing lately, be careful. You know, we may be seeing the winds change in this market environment. So uh, for a little while anyway, you know, we all know over the last 12 years, the bear market's going to last like three days, Jamie. <laughs> you know, it's, but uh, uh, anyway, we'll uh, we'll talk about that. But let's back out of this for now and let's – no, let me cover – the support, education, and training. I need to do that. You guys who are regulars in here, just bear with me. Just a couple of slides here. Uh, we do have incredible support, education, and training. Uh, far better, which you're gonna, where you're gonna find at a lot of your brokers and, and, and other competition out there. We pride ourselves on it. We know it's a very powerful software. Can be uh, daunting and confusing when you when you first open it up, you know, and take a look at it. But do not be afraid. All right, it's, uh, it's right out of the box. Uh, but uh, and for all the other stuff, when it comes to building your own alerts, building your own top lists, and uh, all the features we have, we provide tons of uh, resources. Uh, we have a webinar every day at the same time slot, Monday through Thursday. You can see them all on the left side right there. It's usually myself, Jamie, and Steve handling those uh, responsibilities but on Wednesday you can come in and check out our CEO Dan Merkin and our CTO Brad Williams and uh, and then we have a support webinar if you look down there at the bottom every day Monday through Friday at 12 Eastern this thing has been getting bigger a lot of people coming in there asking questions that's the best place to come if you want to get something demonstrated for you because we have a visual we have a desktop sharing it's a live stream you have a chat so you can ask questions so be sure to come to I should be using my marker this 
support webinar. I'll throw up another slide here right after this one that'll show it to you. And then probably first and foremost is the traders room. A lot of people get together, 500 plus people will get together in this traders room, share ideas, trading. Sure, a lot of traders in there, Barry's a trader, and a good portion of the time is going to be spent trading, but at the same time, when things slow down, Barry encourages people to ask questions you know, about the software. And not only that, a lot of people in there will help you too, because there's a lot of people been been in there, been using the software for a very long time. Uh, there's plenty, uh, like I said, plenty out there to get you going. And just days 12 p.m. Eastern time, just go to trade ideas, trade dash ideas, I should say, dot com forward slash live. If you don't get that, you don't have a pen to write it down, just come to our online chat and we'll give you the link for that. All right. Let's back out of this and let's talk about the market and the spies today. Let me zoom in a little bit, get my little pen going. And wow, I did start to mention uh, the candle, the wick of the move. If you have a very powerful stock, that's what you're going to see a lot of times. We did last two, look, impressive day yesterday. I know a lot of people were going to fourth below on a uh, multi-week low here. So, you know, out of there, it did bounce off of it down through the 50 we've seen this in the past and you guys know, but uh, uh you taking this attitude by the dip i mean yes it has paid but that that can be a very cavalier out you know your money and just buying the dip so i'd like to be a little more uh careful you know when i but uh, let me put on right here in the queue that we're sitting at you got a pivot point that's where we bounce out a visit down to the 200 it's been a while see and just barely, you know, uh, barely, but still, you know, that's something you got to watch out. Okay, that will be the dip, Annie, because it has worked in the past. Back up, and we okay. flip out. Oh, you got this. If you want something to hang your hope yeah. hat on, and if that thing down to 306, break yeah. a sweat. No, you know? yeah. uh, one place and put it into the other. I mean, they're all time highs, but some of the are high. Same thing with the financial out of your Apples, Facebooks, uh, Amazons. If you, this is what's like that, because that's usually a safety move. Get ahead of my game here. Just uh, you yeah. want to. Uh, you should have a one from 2.0 and a lot of add-on opportunities in the trades that were that were produced today. Uh, a little bit of a wiggle out and a stop out on the pizza. So I want to talk about the in at 952 and a stop out in the same at candle. You know, assuming it produced a, a long there. Let me see if I, as we can see there. Boom. That's that's how they get. It. So the volume was there all day and we had this nice orderly downtrend so if you took the position right here because we got the signal <clears throat> and keep minutes into the open at 1539 period then back below it um, if you would have held this one for the duration look just another well actually that did not stop out Andy it looks like it did um, but it did not because check out the shaded area she was in this for the duration stop was way down here at 1320 low on these candles was and 15 okay so did not tick the stop area stayed in it the entire day right held it the whole day finally pulled the plug on reduced risk and took a <laughs> 51 cent profit and then look what happens oh, the very following I candle that. right yeah. wham i mean just the perfect mistiming on the exit but this was this was leaps and bounds away from the stop so all we had to do is sit here all day Hey, we got a range break here. What a nice time to add to the position. But this happens probably so fast and furious. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, by the time you pulled it up, it was probably well past that point. But still, you know, just sticking in the trade, Holly just mistimed it by, what do we have here, 11.18, or excuse me, uh, 2.02. And that bar was the 2 to 2.15 bar. So just would have stuck it out for another 15 minutes or so, and you could have collected all that. But, you know, what are you going to do? So a couple of good examples of spread, considerable spread between conservative and moderate profit, little add-on opportunity in the pizza, and along with, excuse me, a trade around opportunity in the pizza. So for a small amount of trades, not a bad performance yeah, from the AIK, day, yeah. considering right. what we were up against there. Sure, for sure. All right, All let right. me kick it on back to you. 
All right, guys. So uh, just to kind of show you what's what's you know been going on out there. You know, a lot of the a lot of the uh, high flyers are looking really ugly. There's your Apple. There's your Tesla, which I was short the other day, and uh, right around here. But I I covered it on this. I it up there, and I didn't want to jump the gun. But uh, you know, Tesla. Amazon breaking, trying to break its 200 day. Actually, I think Google's holding up pretty decent. Yeah, it's not bad. I had, a, had really strong earnings about a month ago. It's it's holding up pretty good. And I think I saw Netflix is doing okay. It's not uh, not getting killed. But for the most part, a lot of your you know stocks, S and Matrix were really really strong the other day. Now there's an ugly day for it. Starting to show weakness. Could be you know attacking its uh, 50 period uh, moving average tomorrow uh, just uh, just seeing a lot of profit taking and uh, a lot of these high-flying growth stocks uh, and just the opposite I'm seeing some stocks that are uh, that you don't see run that often run let's take the example for I mean gosh when's the last time you saw you know Xerox at a multi-month high you know but here it is I mean it's not it's not killing it but uh, you know doing uh, doing pretty well there Hewlett Packard and there's another one I don't know what came in it today on that volume bar that it finally backed off, but uh, uh, starting to see some, you know, some action in Hewlett Packard, and you know, hasn't really been, you know, that, like I said, crazy of a sexy stock lately. But you know, a lot of people are liking, you know, some of these lower, you know, in reason uh, price to earning ratios that are not up uh, in the thousands like Tesla. Uh, and they're also liking a lot of stocks that have pay a dividend. That's when you start seeing the stock people going to dividend paying stocks. Then you got to kind of scratch your head and say, okay, what's going on here? You know, people uh, people backing away from growth and and parking it into safety where they can you know won't get killed on a twenty dollar stock and earn a dividend. Uh, so keep an eye on that. If you see more and more of that. Uh, it could it could be leading to a bigger picture. Uh, I don't know. Well, time will time will always tell, but uh, I think you got to be prepared. So to be prepared, what I did is I created <clears throat> a little value play. Excuse me, let me get a drink of a coffee here. Actually, uh, <clears throat> value play. Gosh, that didn't that didn't work, Jamie. Hold on. Okay, let's see if that did it. Uh, a stock, you know, a little window, a little top list here to help find stocks that may consider to be, you know, value plays. And you may say, Andy, what, I don't know what really a value play is. And that's okay if you don't. It's very, it's pretty simple. It's just basically you're looking for stocks that have, uh, for most people, it's really easy. They look for stocks that have a low PE ratio. I mean, if you can find stocks, you know, that are typically uh, below, you know, 12 or 13 uh, that have, you know, some decent earnings, uh, uh, that could be a very safe play, especially if they pay a dividend like this Hewlett Packard here. Uh, this is why uh, you see this kind of outperforming the 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 market uh, right now, right? If we pull up the queues, you would think, hey, it's a tech stock. Why isn't it going down? Well, it's because that people are sense there's value there. Okay, this is you know you got a decent P/E ratio, uh, you got a stock that's paying a dividend. Uh, I don't try to get too much into uh, dividend yields. I you know I've done that before, but I, I still want to play the technicals. Okay, as like I was playing any stock, but I do want to pay attention to stocks that you know you may be able to still get some movement out. I can, I'm going to show you a few here that's had some, some really, some really great moves lately. Uh, uh, but still considered value plays. Uh, so what, what did I do? How did I build this window? Let's just go. We're not going to build it uh, like I normally do just for the sake of time. We'll just go in here and look at the configuration. Uh, and it's pretty easy. Once again, I'm using the power of columns. Okay. There's not, you're not going to find much in my filter set. Okay. Basically, all I'm looking for here is stock to be over $3. I probably should jack that up to $5, but some people like to play lower price stocks, so we'll leave it in there. The price to earning ratio has to be below 15. Okay. That's kind of a 
subjective number. You can you can always take this and put it where you want to, but uh, you know because if you do have some nice growth in the stock, you know that that could be a really really low ratio. But uh, I'm going to leave it at there just because uh, we're going to look for some really good value plays today. Uh, earnings per share. Okay, I've got a minimum of zero. Basically, I just want them earning you know earning some money. And uh, I guess really uh, theoretically. If you're going to have a, a earnings per share, you, you, you need to make some earnings. If you have negative uh, earnings, it's not going to work anyway. Quarterly earnings growth, same thing here. I just wanted to show uh, uh, don't, not be negative. In other words, I, I want to see them making uh, some growth with uh, some sort of you know revenue growth. Uh, so that's just at zero. I'm not looking for 20% growth or anything like that. I just don't want to see them going in the opposite direction. Average daily volume, this is typical for me. I'm using uh, half a million shares just to make sure the stock's liquid enough to really trade. And I believe that's it. Okay, so that's basically it. And don't worry, I will share this. You don't have to try to figure out to copy it down. And then what I did, I'm using the power of columns so I can sort. I can use different sorting techniques to find what I'm looking for. So in this case, uh, change from the close is that's standard. I always have that in there. I always have relative volume in there. Uh, price earnings ratio. This is definitely I want in there. Okay. Uh, I have a peg ratio in here that I, I this is something that I I really haven't used a whole lot. Uh, some people like to say that if you have a uh, peg and what peg is is basically just your price to earnings growth. So in other words, uh, if you have a price to earnings right now of uh, 13 and let's say um, you know, Hewlett Packard last quarter had a, you know, it was at, at 10 or something like this. You don't, in other words, you want, you don't want this number too high. So in other words, you don't want, uh, uh, your price to earning. In other words, if you're looking for value, you don't want to be paying too much for the, the price to earnings growth. So anyway, like I said, this is new for me. And, and the, the, the only thing I don't like, it looks at, it, it looks at the annual growth and not the quarterly. I was given an example of a quarterly growth, but it looks at the annual uh, of uh, of earnings and it just kind of, that doesn't sit right with me. So I added the, I put the column in there and we'll take a look at some of the things, but some people use this to find value, but I'm going to focus on PE ratios. That's just kind of standard and it's easy for everybody. Uh, and then I do want to see the earnings growth, how much it is. Uh, and then, of course, I'd like to see if they're paying a dividend, too. be nice to see. All right, so let's take a look at some of the stocks. And you can sort these any way you want to, okay? This is, this is where the sorting is subjective. You know, if I wanted to come in here and find the stocks that are trading for the least P.E. ratio, I could cl double-click on this and get these up here. C-U-I-S. I mean, check it out. You know, it's trading at a P.E. ratio of... 1.6 that's very very low and actually if it gets that low i get a little bit nervous that something's going on but still nonetheless it, it's looking pretty good maybe i want to come in here and set a price alert right here if it breaks out of this range that could be a really nice play there uh i'm not going to go through a lot of these uh because a lot of these are down for a reason uh Trox, this was interesting. I was looking at this uh, the last couple of days, but then today with this huge uh, volume bar red, that has to, something, uh, it seems like the volume was all this morning, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, still one, you know, to keep an eye on you if that's just a shakeout or something like that. <clears throat> now, you could, a lot of people might want to sort this by revenue growth, okay? Me, here's the way I would play something like this, okay? I would like to see the stocks that are performing well today because, I, like I said, I still want to play these on a chart, okay? And I want to be able to look at this like VIPs today was trading when I pulled it up right around here, okay? This is a China, uh, I believe it's a retail, uh, 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 online retail shop. Uh, Nice cash, current debt, PE ratio, everything looks pretty good in this, okay? 
looked pretty good. I, I want to see that. And of course it did. After I looked at it, it did move higher by the tune of another buck there. Vert, this is one that's kind of on my radar. You know, that's look at that relative strength today. Okay. Uh, let me get the things and what I'm looking at. Okay. Nice cash, current debt, quarterly revenue note growth is there. PE earnings ratio 6.5, dividend 0.24. So a lot of things in this now, it is trading in a kind of a sloppy range. Maybe I would put alert, you know, uh, it's kind of ranging right now, but maybe I'd put a price alert right up there and see see what, what happens. And I'll actually do that right now because if it does go back to a year high, I probably want to know about it. It could be some stuff flowing in there. And you guys can cop me on. I'm not going to share these price alerts. So if you are watching, if you want to do the same thing, you could just follow along. Uh, we talked about Hewlett Packer. I'm not sure what's going on there. That one, that one kind of got away with it. But this is what this is what I would do if I'm going to be using this, looking for value plays during the day. I'm going to look at the ones that are you know trading trading well on the day. I, I don't want to catch the ones like Trox and try to guess on on pullbacks. Uh, there is one that I actually bought today, and I'm not not sure why I'm not seeing it. But let me just pull it up. And this FSKR, okay, this had this was on this list. I'll have to look to see where it is now, but uh, I'll have to dig it up. But it was on there yesterday when I created it. A little bit underwater. I bought it around 60. Uh, uh, so basically just flat on this trade right now. It was looking really pretty. This might be a SPAC too, I'm not sure, but uh, uh, you know, nonetheless, it was a chart. I'm always, I'm buying the chart first and this had a really nice, you know, what we consider to be a cup and potential handle. I'm, uh, uh, yeah, cup and handle there, right there. There's your cup and there's your handle. Broke out to all time highs today. And of course, obviously the market just got a hold of it. So, you know, I'll probably stop if this thing breaks through 18, keep it tight in this kind of market. But uh, I did like the way this thing was setting up and I did find this on value plays thing. So uh, keep an eye on it. All right, let me see. We're gonna probably move on to the uh, to the uh, game because Jamie, last week they were killing me. You weren't here, and I was by myself, and, I, and we got like about twenty of them. And I was trying to get everybody in there. Uh huh. Yeah, but let's let's take a look and make sure we're not missing anything else here. Uh, Xerox is interesting. This is probably one where maybe I would set an alert if it pulls back to the breakout point, and something like that and maybe i would take a look at it if it does that uh but anyway i wanted to create something that uh would give give some of you guys a different way to look at them there's citigroup of all things a little bank in there is performing well there you go some value people looking for value so uh let me go ahead and share this guys uh and like i said it you know if you're used to uh, trading momentum, but let me let, let's talk a little bit about momentum, guys. Be careful. Uh, I was talking to one of my trading friends today, and he is saying he was like, you know, gosh, man, I, I uh, you know, I, I, these I was getting in these trades a couple of weeks ago, and I was taking top profits too quick, and they just kept going. And I told myself I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to let these things run for me. And of course now it's not working, and it's just it's just the environment, and you have to. You have to adapt to the environment and guys um, if you know if things are changing and which you always have to be prepared for okay buying the dip may not work like it used to and you know jumping in these runners and sitting back and high-fiving your buddy and 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 pounding on the table and drinking it, it, that may not work either okay you may have to be quicker to take profits and all it is is adjusting, adapting what the market's given you. Because let's face it, the momentum plays over the last couple of weeks haven't been working as well, or at least the last, uh, you know, I'd say week to 10 days. So, all right, let me uh, let me go ahead and make sure this is on live during market hours, and I will share this with you. And I will sort it by, I'll leave it sorted by change from the close. Let me make sure I have that. 
Got it about ready. Andy, to you've on. also got a request for the squeeze break window over there to the left. Okay. You know what, guys? I should have taken this down. I cannot share this one. I'm sorry. This is part of our. Let me take move it right there. I uh -huh. cannot. Yeah. It. It. Uh, I'm sorry. I can give you. Uh, hit me up, and I can probably give you something similar. But that's that's actually one that has some AI technology in it, and I I just can't I can't share that. It's I, I shouldn't have had it up. Michael Noss was kind enough to uh, to give it to me, and uh, uh, but I can I can share something similar. So if you want to hit me up in an email or just send an info at trade-ideas.com, I can give you something very similar that just has a special formula in it that I can't uh, uh, I can't share. All right, so let me. Uh, if it was if it wasn't AI, if it wasn't Holly AI, I, I would do it in a second. But I, guys, you understand that. All right. All right, here it comes. I'm putting it in the window. And then we can go <laughs> take a look at the uh, contest. Not really a contest, it's just a price alerts game we play. All right, let me pull them up here. And also let me get a drink of water. All right, first of all, you guys are gonna see some big numbers in here. And this is because I was going really fast. A, com a couple of you had pullback alerts that I didn't put them on longs i left them shorts and that's why you're seeing these big numbers here at 34 percent and 24 percent because these ended up going out at short so sorry walid and bernard i don't think uh, you were thinking short in there i think you i think everybody went long that day uh, i'll remember today jamie can help me too uh, to make sure if you're you are buying a pullback hey some people may want to go short though today for sure i mean who knows but anyway, the big winner I would have to say is, let's see, because those were the wrong direction. Uh, I think it's going to be Alina again. I think that you had one last week in the MTDR. Yeah, not much there, but it was, uh, let me, let me uh, click on it and we can see the alert. Yeah, right there. So I think you did have a pullback alert there, Alina, that, and that was our winner. I'm not seeing anything over, oh, wait a minute here. We got some more down here I missed. So 5%, no, so almost 6% for Alina. That's, uh, that's the winner for today. And we had, once again, tough week, okay? A lot of uh, negative numbers, and that's okay. Uh, they're just price alerts. Yeah, obviously, some of you guys probably didn't take them if they didn't trigger, and, uh, just being in the market that we're in. Oh, Wally said he was short riot. Ah, let me take a look. Well, then you are definitely the big winner, and that was a great call. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you. If you said that was your call, that was your. I, I trust you, Wally. So good job, then. Uh, let's see if Bernard chimes in that he was short Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, great job then, Waleed. You are the big winner. All right. Let's do this, guys. Here's what you do. You throw in the stock and you throw in the price. Tell me if it's uh, if it's a short. Otherwise, it's going to go in as a long. Let me go ahead and race these so we don't get them confused. And fire away. Let's see here. KOS from uh, NEO at, oh, was that not a, I'm sorry, Neil, that wasn't. Uh, I think that was just the comment, not a okay. price alert. Yeah. And oh, then the okay. first price alert would be B-Cove. Okay. A oh, price Cove. of, um, yeah, a price of 21.80 to go long. Oh, you guys are putting them tight. We may have to make a rule here. It yeah, you might want to go ahead and show post market. That way we can see. Well, I see it. I see the print uh, at 2175. Oh, that's that's true. I, I forget. Yeah. That's accurate. Yeah. 
so this is going to be from Dave Fontaine. And Scott, we'll need a uh, price on Tesla and a direction. Okay, Wally says game below a hundred. You know he's going to go short again. That may be a good one. Believe it or not, Andy, I was long that today. Had some pretty good cash in it. Got greedy and pretty much got it all back. <laughs> oh, easy to do. Yeah, it is. All right. Uh, did we ever get that one for Tesla? Uh, I don't think Scott came back with a. Okay, above 51. Above bill above fifty one fifteen. All mm -hmm. right. And I will also need a price on the rig. Yeah, you guys remember to give us the price. Uh, all right. And yeah, that. Uh, so okay. we get the price on rig three fifty nine. Yeah. Let's see, uh, <laughs> All right, who else we got out there? Next workhorse. will be Workhorse, one of the Holly trades for today. 1750, I'm assuming that's long. Well, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, long, it's 1750, looking for a pullback. And that was from uh, KJ. Yeah, but it's not. Where where's the stock right now? Is it at seventeen twenty five? Oh wait, did that trigger? Hey, where where are my names at? Okay. No. It didn't trigger. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it is though. Oh, well, you're good. We'll let it go. All yeah. right. Uh, CS. Uh, ZS. Yep, ZS. Oh, he's way up here. And that was from James. All right. GTE. GTE almost one dollar okay one dollar it's going for that percentage gain there uh oh who was that yeah. that was uh v o u yeah yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, easier. Easier. <laughs> uh, Neo short fifty five fifty. Did we? You got rig already, right? I did. Okay. Neo short at fifty five fifty. So he is no forty five fifty. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, looking for some continued momentum down on these EV plays. I am with you on that. That's David. Uh, on the Neo, yes, David. PLTR. Long from below at 24.24. Or rising up, we should say. There you go. And that is Neo. All right. He may as Vips long for 38.50. I like that, the way that one's shaping up. 
Okay. Oh, he's right there, man. I think we're, no, it's trading. Looks like it's trading down a little bit, so mm -hmm. we should be okay. Ime. And... Looks like Tilray. Tilray. Oh, wait. Will you give me a... Uh, Vincent, Tilray 2430, I'm assuming long. Oh, man, we're all the way down here. Okay. 2430, yeah, he's looking for a bounce soon. Okay, I, I get it. And unless my list isn't updating properly. That may be it, huh? That appears to be it. So if, if you want to get one in, now would be the time. All right. I'm going to go ahead and did I make sure I got all the names here? All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and sh share these, these price alerts with everybody. So be sure to grab them. And drop them into the chat window like I always do. And good luck to everybody. All right. And with that, guys. Thank you, Andy. Um, so on the ebook on earnings, it's a good one. Uh, we've got a lot of great feedback on it. Just go to tradeideas.com slash earnings. Add the uh, included um, uh, cloud links that will go ahead and add some of those uh, strategies that are talked about in the ebook to your own layout. Uh, so again, tradeideas.com slash earnings, and then go um, to your favorite podcast application and search for tradeideas.com slash, I mean, I'm sorry, Trade Ideas podcast is all you have to search for. Just go ahead and do that and uh, add that subscription to your playlist and go ahead and check out some of the most recent episodes. We'll have a new one up soon, I'm sure. Uh, we also have a code, Opportunity, saves you 15% off your first month or year of trade ideas. Also good for an upgrade. So if you're on standard and decide you want to jump into premium, go ahead and do that. Send all your questions to info at trade-ideas.com. That's the best place to send any questions. It goes to our help desk. And uh, you can find Jamie on Twitter at QuantBot. Our uh, Steve Gomez is today trader on Twitter. We also have at Trade Ideas. Also, uh, our Facebook handle is Trade Ideas Pro, so find that and like stuff and share stuff with your friends. We're going to go ahead and publish the playback of this video on our YouTube channel. So stay tuned tomorrow for a um, email from Go to Webinar with a link to the playlist where you can find it. Thank you, Andy and Jamie. You all have a good one, and uh, thanks all. Thanks, Scott. Great Thanks, attending. everybody. I'll see you tomorrow uh, in the support webinar, maybe. Yeah, and I'll just say this in closing. Um, let's see. I think it was George was requesting a link from Dan and Brad's webinar from yesterday. If you just pop us an email over to info at trade-ideas.com, we'll get that out to you. All right. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks, everyone.